rules to go, um, but you're cr you've already crossed that line where you have to get a hundred percent from here on out. All right. Okay. As soon as you're ready, I'm ready and I'm already looking. I'm sorry. I'm all right. No, it's I'm fine. Ready. Amateur, uh, amateur hour three board. Ready, set, go. You White have to five move. minutes total. As soon White as to you're move. ready. White to move. Yes. White to move. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, so if bishop e6, they have to take with either the knight or the rook. I mean, this is, I'm just looking at forcing things first. Uh, let's see. I would love to somehow be able to get my rook in to take this pawn on c7. How do I go about this? You have to use the force and trust your intuition. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to use the force. I mean, bishop e6 is just awful after, like, rook takes, pawn takes, knight. Well, knight takes, king moves. No, that's not awful. It's not that awful. Oh, that's not that awful. My king's a lot better than their king. I don't mind these reductions, do I? Okay. Bishop b6. Let's say knight takes. Pawn takes. Rook takes pawn. Can I just play rook e4 there? Rook e4, if takes, takes, king f7, king d5, king e6. Uh, maybe that's too much. Okay, bishop e6, knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, king d5, rook e7. I'm down a pawn, but I love my king there. I'm doing it. Play bishop to e6. Yep. That is correct at 2 minutes and 28 seconds. All right. So, we uh, bishop e6 check is correct. Obviously, you put the black king in an impossible position. He can't play king h8 because yep. that's mate. Uh, and after knight takes e6, pawn takes e6, this transition is uh, the best approach for white to have a winning chance in the ending, and white should be winning here. The main idea is that you're sacrificing a pawn for a, a much more dominant king. Yep. And as your king enters into the queen side, uh, black will be losing in a game like this, something like king to d5. Uh, if the rook goes back to e7 and he tries to sit and wait, one of the key things to assess is that the black king is completely trapped right. from coming over to the queen side. So this isn't a normal rook ending where all things being equal, you'd never want to be down a pawn and think you have winning chances. Mm -hmm. A much more active king as compared to the opponent's counterpart is often one of the biggest advantages you can have in a rook ending. Mm -hmm. And um, this situation is probably the, the most straightforward win for white would be to establish the pawn to b5 yeah. and then bring then play moves like rook f2 with the idea of flipping the script. The reason you put the pawn on b5 is so that once they eventually try to play rook e4 and get your c pawn, you can capture two pawns like c7 and b6. They gobble up c4, but it's a winning ending with your b pawn and your king being in a much better position to move forward. So proper assessment there of uh, the end game. You made the right intuitive sacrifice. Probably you could have even played it sooner, but that'll be for you to decide as you now are running out of time. We move Wait, on to position four. Left? You have we're gonna we're gonna round up to three minutes here. Okay. All right, I'm looking at four already. I'm going.